Hello everyone, our today's question is really special. The question is, if p of x be the polynomial with real coefficients such that x square plus x plus 1 into p of x minus 1 is equal to x square minus x plus 1 into p of x for all x belongs to real number and one more thing is given p of 1 is equal to 3. So clearly from here we need to calculate p of x. Once we calculate p of x, the next thing they are asking is integration of this function tan inverse of 2x upon 1 plus p x square that means we need p of x for sure. Plus this integration is also added. It is given as k upon 16 pi minus ln 4. Where k is a constant, we have to find the value of k. So let's tackle the first part. x square plus x plus 1 into p of x. This is given as equal to x square minus, as you can see, minus x plus 1 into p of x. And it's given that p of x is a polynomial. polynomial function. Now, if you note one that is this quadratic. If you see this quadratic, a is positive, that means upward parabola and d less than 0. So, I think you don't see any factors here because d is less than 0 and upward parabola, this x is quadratic here, x square plus x plus 1 don't have any factor here. Similarly, if you note one thing, same thing goes for this quadratic. a positive hai or d negative, you check it once and then that means this does not have any factor. That means I can take here, sorry, I've written by mistake, it is p of x minus 1 here. So in these two quadratic, there is no factor. That means these two will not cancel out. Then that means I'm doing one thing here. That is, I'm taking p of x. Can I take p of x, this polynomial as uh, you can take this as, uh, let's say it is equal to x square plus x plus 1 into g of x. Let's say g of x is one more polynomial function. Okay. Now I can write p of x in the terms of this because here these two does not have any factor. So I can write like this. There is no problem here. Now the next step is very important and you will get to know why I have taken this. This is very important here and I'll tell you in the end why I have taken like this. Okay. So p of x I have taken like this. Now in order to put this p of x in this equation, p of x minus 1, we need both of them. So p of x minus 1. Let's calculate. Dunya mein jahan jahan x se replace x by x minus 1. So we'll get this as x minus 1 whole square plus x minus 1 plus 1 into g of x. Okay, and this will become g of x minus 1. Similarly, this will be equal to, if you open this, you'll get this as x square. From here, you'll get minus 2x. From here, you'll get plus x. So minus x and then plus 1, minus 1 and plus 1. So in all in all, it's plus 1 multiplied by g of x minus 1. So this is the value of p of x minus 1. Now I'm going to substitute the value here, p of x minus 1 in this equation. So let's substitute. So first we have x square plus x plus 1. Now the value of p of x minus 1 is x square minus x plus 1 into g of x minus 1. Now next value is x square minus x plus 1. And then p of x is I've given you x square plus x plus 1 multiplied by g of x here. Now you'll get to know the reason because if I take p of x like this, as you can see, <coughs> x square plus x plus 1 into g of x. Here you can see both of the factors will come here because the moment I replace x by x minus 1, both of the factors will be there on the left hand side as well as right hand side, they are interconvertible. So these two will cancel out and from here I got g of x minus 1 is equal to g of x. Now you have to realize this is very important, okay? This will change the whole game because if you don't realize here, then you cannot solve the question further onwards. One more thing is, let's say if you replace x by x plus 1 here. Let's say I will change this. So you will get this as g of x is equal to g of x plus 1. If you are observing one this is periodic with period 1. This is periodic and period 1. If a polynomial function is periodic, then this implies g of x, that polynomial function must be a constant. It is not possible for a, a polynomial function to be periodic. If it is periodic, then the, it is constant function. So this must be equal to k. Now, g, if g of x is equal to k, I'm going to solve now p of x. Since p of 1 is given as 3, now I'm going to solve using this, I'm going to solve p of x. Next, next slide. Now, before I start solving the question, there is a minute error which I've done here. That is, in between these two integrals, there is a positive sign. As you can see, these two are being added. It's not equal to. So, make a correction here, those who are solving on their own. 
I'm really sorry for the error. Let's continue. So it's given P of 1 is equal to 3. Now I'm going to put X is equal to 1 in this equation. So we'll get P of 1 is equal to 3 times of K and that is equal to 3. From here, 3 and 3 will cancel out. That means K is equal to 1. So that means from here we got P of X is equal to X square plus X plus 1 here. Since in the equation they are asking P of X square. So P of X square, dunia mein jahan jahan X hai, replace X by X square. We'll get this as X is to power 4 plus X square and then plus 1. Now we have to substitute this P of X square in the integral. Now we're going to calculate in the next page. Now I'm going to plug the value of P of X square and I'm going to integrate. So first term we have is integration 0 to 1. That is tan inverse. Here we have 2x in the numerator and denominator we have here already 1. So I think we'll go reverse. We're going to split this into two terms. That is tan inverse of something minus tan inverse of something. For that, I need to break this P of X square into two terms. In such a way that the product should be equal to X to power 4 plus X square plus 1. And the difference should be 2x. This is very important. So that I can write is this as difference of two tan inverse terms. So I think this is well known factorization that is x square plus x plus 1. And the other factorization is x square minus x plus 1. If you multiply these two, you'll get the same thing. Now if you take the difference, difference of these two terms, x square, x square will cancel out. x minus or minus x plus 2x. And then plus 1 minus 1 will cancel out. So difference is 2x and multiplication is same. So I can write this as two, product of two terms like this. Reason I told you. And d of x. The other integral I'm going to calculate later on, but I'm going to tackle this as of now. So I can write this as integration 0 to 1 as a difference of two tan inverse integral. The first one will be x square plus x plus 1 minus. The other one will be tan inverse x square minus x plus 1 uh, and the whole thing d of x now there are many ways to integrate this you can take this as theta but that will be very long so i'll tell you the shortest way how to integrate this so this is integration 0 to 1 and i'm going to write this in the terms of cot okay so i'm writing this as pi by 2 minus cot inverse of x square plus x plus 1 now the reason why I'm writing in the terms of cot, I'll show you just now. No? Just wait, I'm going to show you. So this will be pi by 2. Again, I'm going to convert this in the terms of cot inverse. So minus times cot inverse of, you'll get this as x square minus x plus 1. And we'll get this. Now, uh, if you check here, plus pi by 2 will cancel out with minus pi by 2. And two cot inverse terms are remaining here. Now, for these two cot inverse terms, if you observe one thing, that is for this quadratic. A is positive here and D is less than 0. So it's upward parabola and discriminant is less than 0. That means this is positive for all X belongs to R. Similarly, the same goes for the other quadratic. If you check A is positive, D is less than 0. Upward parabola, no, re no real roots. And then this will be positive for all X belongs to R. So both are positive. I'm going to apply a property here. That is, cot inverse of X is equal to tan inverse of 1 by x you can say when x is positive because if x is negative the other branch will open so we must be very careful here while opening this cot inverse in the terms of tan inverse since both are positive for x belongs to real number I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you why I have written in the terms of cot inverse let me erase this now I'm going to write this integral as integration 0 to 1 as you can see minus minus plus cot inverse we got here x square minus x plus 1 minus times cot inverse because this will be negative Cot inverse of, we will get here x square plus x plus 1. Now I am going to write this cot inverse as 1 by tan, tan inverse 1 by x. So you will get integration 0 to 1. First one is tan inverse. Uh, I can write this as 1 upon x square minus x plus 1 minus. Other one is tan inverse. I am going to write this as 1 upon x square plus x plus 1. Now I am going to evaluate these two in the next slide. Now in the last slide, we have calculated these two tan inverse of term. As you can see here, tan inverse of this, 1 by this and tan inverse of 1 by this. Now I'm going to split x square minus x in such a way that you will get here x into, can I write this as x into x minus 1? And can I write this as x into x plus 1? Now we have to find the two terms such that product should be equal to x square minus x and difference should be 1. As you can see, difference of these two terms is 1. And difference of these two terms is 1. So yes, I can write this as difference. So you'll get integration 0 to 1. 
first term will be tan inverse of you will get x minus integration 0 to 1 next term will be tan inverse of you can say here x minus 1 because I am splitting this x square minus x as product of two terms x into x minus 1 difference is 1 and then product is same similarly minus times of integration 0 to 1 we will get tan inverse here first one will be x plus 1 minus times since one more negative is there so minus minus plus integration 0 to 1 we will get tan inverse of x here now one more term as I told you this term I didn't write here so I am going to write one more term that is this term here integration 0 to 1 tan inverse of you will get here x plus 1 now this is given as k by 16 and pi minus ln 4 we have to find the value of k so first let me simplify this I think you can see a satisfactory part minus tan inverse of x plus 1 plus tan inverse of x plus 1 limit is also same as you can see here this one one of the values is you can solve here you don't have to calculate this though you can calculate you can take this as theta but this observation is really helpful the chalaki bara observation is dekho yaan agar mein kings lagata hon so kings if I apply if I replace x by upper limit upper limit plus lower limit minus x agar mein x ko aise replace karta hon the value of integral will not change keeping uh, the limit same so this will be integration 0 to 1 same and this term will become tan inverse of if you replace x by 1 minus x it will become 1 minus 1 will uh, I think here 1 and minus 1 will cancel out here and you will get minus x that minus x you can take it negative no problem here so outside it will become plus and then it will it is x so one term is negative in the tan one term is positive now we are going to integrate this there are two methods one is by parts or one other one is you can take this as theta both works so I am going to apply by parts because that is the easiest one I feel let's say this is first function according to priority and this is our second function you can apply highlight also so three times we will be getting here first function into integration of second minus times integration of differentiation of first so differentiation of first is 1 plus x square and then d of x here and integration of second is x and given that integration 0 to 1 this limit is 0 to 1 now I am going to substitute some value so we will get three times uh, if I substitute the value 1 tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 and then for 0 it is 0 next value is minus times uh, if I want to integrate this as you can see if I multiply and divide by 12 this is our function denominator 1 plus x square and derivative is numerator so we will get this as 1 by 2 ln of 1 plus x square and the lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 now let's further simplify this this 3 times pi by 4 minus when you put the lower limit here 1 you will get this as 1 by 2 uh, let's take half also outside and we'll get this as uh, ln 2 and the other one when you put 0 for ln 1 when you put x is equal to 0 you will get ln 1 and ln 1 is 0 so we'll get this now uh, further also we can simplify we can take LCM here since we want ln 4 here in the answer uh, I'm going to take LCM we'll get this as 3 times LCM is you can say 4 so 4 will come outside you will get pi minus 2 ln 2 and that can be written as 3 by 4 pi minus ln 4 because you can take that 2 in the power it because ln 4 was given that is the hint now they are saying it is equal to k by 16 so k by 16 pi minus ln 4 now from here we can calculate the value of k and the value of k if you calculate I think 4 and 6 will uh, 4 and 16 will cancel out and it will give you 12 so 12 will be our final answer and that will be all